While American investors focus on rate hikes from the Federal Reserve, British investors are grappling with an economic policy shift that has had widespread repercussions. So what exactly is going on? While most investors have heard about the near parity between the pound and the dollar, the pound crashed against the US dollar, falling to a record low of the equivalent of $1.03. But there's more to the story. Prime Minister Liz Truss and her chancellor announced on September 23rd a new economic plan that includes 30 measures to fight inflation, stimulate growth, and build on infrastructure projects. Essentially, they're suggesting tax breaks, which would largely benefit the wealthier individuals and also businesses. The idea comes as the UK grapples with an energy crisis and is meant to help, but it still leaves investors wondering who's going to foot the bill. The plan sent both the pound and bonds tumbling, but why hasn't it recovered? Well, the Bank of England has been planning to scale back its balance sheet, a plan that is now on hold as it begins to buy long-dated bonds in an effort to work against the damage done by the mini-budget proposed by Prime Minister Truss. Gilts, which are bonds that are issued by the British government, rose to their highest levels since 2008. And while this is all happening, the International Monetary Fund issued a rare rebuke against the UK, saying that it does not recommend large and untargeted fiscal packages at this time, and that it actually could increase inequality within the UK. Now, all of this does impact the United States. First, it's a global event. The UK is the world's sixth largest economy, and it currently operates at a trade deficit. It imports more than it exports and plays a huge role in the global stage. Second, the volatility is bleeding through to the United States markets. This is already happening at a time when the U.S. is facing high inflation and housing recession. The 10-year Treasury yield reached 4%, which is the highest level since 2008. Central banks, including the United States, have hiked an astounding 350 basis points recently as multiple countries battle inflation. The Bank of England was among those banks with a 50 basis point hike. Oanda's Edward Moya said that the Bank of England now needs to signal that they are independent and committed to their inflation targets. The BOE has said that it will not hesitate to hike rates further as it attempts to balance its goal of 2%, but, and this is similar to the situation that we're seeing play out in the United States, investors remain in a wait-and-see mode.